the Holy Ghost. Amen. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Greetings and welcome to this Monday in Wits and Week service. And the collect is God, who as at this time did teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of thy Holy Spirit. Grant by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his early comfort through the merits of Christ Jesus our Saviour, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the same Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. And the epistle is taken from Acts chapter 10, beginning at the 34th verse. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and work of righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That word I say ye know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him, and we are witnesses of all things which he did, both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before of, of God, even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be judge of quick and the dead. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name Whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. And the gospel is that according to St. John, chapter 3, beginning at the 16th verse. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent his Son into the world, 
not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth upon him is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth tr truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. Yes, these are wonderful words. As we continue to remember the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, and this was an extension of the outpouring of the Holy Ghost to those who believe and upon those who went with Peter to the house of Cornelius. Peter was not keen on going there because he thought that uh, these people were unclean because they were not of the circumcision. But he went there in obedience unto the Holy Ghost. And as I am in obedience to the Holy Ghost, I trust that you too shall be in obedience to the Holy Ghost. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. In other words, God, he will accept ones out of all nations. He will have those who worship him in spirit and in truth out of all nations. Yes, it is in every nation, no exception. Whether it be North Korea, whether it be the United Kingdom, no exceptions whatsoever. God will have those who will believe and worship him because they fear God, a holy fear, a righteous fear. And the word of God, which sent to the children of Israel, was extended. Hear the confirmation of the extension as we move along through Whitson Week. So God sent to the children of Israel, preaching what? Preaching peace by, peace by Jesus Christ, the one who is peace, the one who peace is in the person of Jesus Christ. In the world we won't have peace, but in him we have peace when we are truly born again of God. He is Lord of all. Even the Lord of all of those who will not accept him, those who will not believe him, he will still be Lord of all. Yes. And God, ye know, which was published throughout all Judea, the word spread like wildfire the coming of the fire of the Holy Ghost. And as John preached how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, and we also, when we are in Christ, we are anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good. He couldn't do anything different, Jesus. The compassion of God revealed in Jesus Christ. And it was extended to those who were oppressed of the devil. Yes, when Jesus said to the disciples, Ye shall receive power. It was to destroy the works of the devil, the Holy Ghost came to work in us to continue the work of Jesus to destroy the works of the devil. And God was with him. 
And just as God was with Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he was with Peter and the disciples. And they were witnesses of all the things which he did both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem. And the high priest and the council, oh, they got their way all right whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Yes, they may have done their worst. They may have crucified him. They crucified my Lord. But God, he had the last word and he continues to have the last word in these days. He raised up Jesus on the third day and showed him openly not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before God. Yes, he showed himself to the disciples, showed himself to those in the upper room, showed himself to those on the seashore, even to us who did eat and drink with him. After he rose from the dead and he had to rise from the dead, he's alive forevermore. And he commanded us to preach unto the people. Preach and preach and preach. How will the people hear unless they, the word of God is preached in these days? And to testify that it is he which was ordained of God are you ordained of God? Do you have that power and that authority to preach the word of God? And to be, he was judge of the quick and the dead, the live and the dead. He is still be the judge of the dead. He'll still be the judge whether you're in Christ or not in Christ. To him, Give all the prophets witness, and through his name, whosoever what believeth in him, believeth, not those who don't believe, who refuse to believe, they shall receive remission of sins. Glory to God in the highest, that remission of sins is in God the Son. While Peter spake these words, what happened? The Holy Ghost fell on them which heard the word of God. And they of the circumcision, which believed, were astonished. Of course, they, they thought that they were the privileged few. As many as came with Peter, because when Cornelius sent word to come, come to him, he didn't go on his own. He took those who will be witnesses because he knew that there will be those who, who would say, no, you did wrong, Peter. Because that on the Gentiles was poured out the gift, gift, note, gift. It's not earned as the Holy Ghost. Salvation is not earned either. And... They heard them speak with tongues. And what did the tongues do? They magnified God. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water? Yes, Jesus knew that he himself had been baptized by John the Baptist. And the others too had been baptized in water. And we are too, not just to be Baptized in the Holy Ghost, we're to be baptized in water. I've been baptized in water. Christian, yes, as a baby, but baptized as an adult in water. That they should, why they, no, they not kept back, that they were baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. And what? He commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord, commanded, very strong word that, no option there. Then prayed they him to tarry certain days. Of course, they wanted him to stay with them. <coughs> <coughs> then, the, <coughs> then the 
the gospel. Well, undoubtedly the most well-known verse in Scripture. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him, not on him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. And the word, only begotten Son, no other possibility of someone else being the only begotten Son of God. Yes, so-called Bibles do not acknowledge him. Only the Antioch line of Scripture does. The Alexandrian line of Egypt does not. Your NIVs, your New King James, the English Standard Version and the like, oh, put them on the bonfire. They're absolutely no use whatsoever when they do not have Jesus as the only begotten Son of God. Why? Because... For God sent his Son into the world, what? To condemn the world. Not, not, he sent not his Son into the world to, to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Saved, saved. He that believeth on him, not is condemned already. Could anything be more clear, anything more stronger than that? Because he have not believed. Are you in belief or are you in not, not in belief? If you're not in belief, then you're on your way to hell fire. You're on your way to torment forevermore and no escape from it. Yes. Your purgatory does not exist. It's a damnation. The Roman Catholic Church, yes, it does have some good, good people in it, but it also sends millions, and down the centuries have sent billions to hell fire. Because it is belief on the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. Light! I am the light of the world, said Jesus. No other light in the world. It's darkness, utter darkness. And men loved darkness rather than light, and that is exactly the same today. No, it's not changed. People love sin. Oh, they wallow in their sin. Are you wallowing in your sin? Because their deeds were evil, and their deeds still are evil today. For every one that doeth evil, hateth the light. Yes, the devil hates the light. His angels hate the light. Rather than wanting to come to the light. His deeds should be reproved. And I reprove in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the evil deeds in this world today. You wicked, wicked spirits at work in the new world order. You are utterly and completely destroyed. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light because they have the one who is truth within them, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, 
be with you who believe in Christ and Christ dwells within you, both today, throughout this Whitson week, and throughout the rest of your lives. Amen.